Joining us today is Dr. Mike Smith, Professor of Horticulture and our State Pecan Specialist. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. I think a lot of homeowners have pecan trees in their landscape, but we don't really manage these for production. So I'm hoping we can look at that through the course of the year. But today I wanted to focus on fertilization because we're approaching the time to start putting out fertilizer. What are the primary nutrients that our pecan trees need? Uh, the most likely to be uh, deficient or needed annually are uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc. Okay, and so we are going to look for kind of one of your standard complete fertilizers right. to put out when we're applying. Yeah, okay. a complete fertilizer of course has the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in it, and then zinc would be a separate fertilizer. And what is the best timing for fertilizing pecan trees? Uh, actually, the first application right now would be a good time. Uh, generally, anywhere from about four weeks before bud break up until bud break. And then I really prefer to split the application into two applications and put on one then and then put on the second half of it about three weeks after bud break. Okay. Um, now, in the landscape, many of our pecan trees are, they're either going to be in an ornamental bed or in more of a turf setting, similar to what we have here. When we're fertilizing our turf, is that going to be a sufficient uh, application for the pecan trees? Uh, many times what you put on for the turf, of course the pecan trees are going to get their share of the nutrients you put on, and many times that'll be enough. Uh, you can really judge how healthy the pecan tree is and whether it needs more by looking at one, the color, and you're looking for a nice deep green color, uh, uniform size leaves. And the other thing you're looking for is the new growth on it to be about three to six inches long. Each and year? Each year. Three to six inches a of growth. Annually, three to okay. six inches of growth. If you're doing that, uh, essentially keep on with the same rates of fertilizer that you're using. And is there a rule of thumb to identify what that rate would be as our tree ages? Uh, yes, uh, normally in a landscape situation we'll put on one to three pounds of complete fertilizer per inch of trunk diameter. Uh, and one to three pounds is quite a range and that depends on how the tree's growing. If you're fertilizing the turf, you may not need anything or maybe the trees just need a little bit more fertilizer. You'd be at one pound per inch of trunk diameter. Okay, so if again we'll look at those cues, the, yeah. the color of the foliage and the growth. Yeah. Now in a Ornamental beds. Sometimes our pecan trees have uh, ornamental plantings around them. Um, I think in that case we might really need to pay attention to those indicators in case the shrubs are competing for nutrients. Yes, and they'll they'll definitely be competing. Everything out there will, and it's it's a matter of looking both at the pecan tree and the shrubs. Uh, you might value the shrubs more than the pecan trees, and want to make <laughs> sure they're the healthiest they can be or you might value the pecan trees more. Mm -hmm. More than likely though the fertility for each is going to be about the same for each one of them so you'll be mm -hmm. uh, in the ballpark with the rates that we talked about. Okay one last question when I'm fertilizing a lot of times I like to also think about uh, soil pH. What is the ideal pH for our pecans? If we had to name an ideal soil pH it'd be about 6.5 and in Oklahoma in uh, most of Oklahoma, our pHs are going to run 6.2 to up to about 6.8 as a native pH. Whenever you get down along the Red River, uh, frequently those pHs are above 7. Uh, with uh, uh, annual applications of nitrogen, we do tend to depress the uh, soil pH. So we really wouldn't think about correcting the soil pH until it drops below 6 usually. Okay, so we're pretty um, comfortable with the existing pH of our soil. One thing that indicates to me is that our acid loving plants like azaleas are not going to be compatible to be growing under our pecans. So we'll that's, want to watch for that. That's correct. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing this information with us today. Okay. Thank you.